Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we're going to continue looking at the May June 2019 CSEC Agricultural Science Single Award Paper 2. We're looking at question, we looked at question 1 and 2 previously, and so we're going to look at question 3 today. And you know what to do before you continue? You like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you know when Learn SKN drops the other part of the May June Single Award Agricultural Science paper for CSEC. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Number three, define the term vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. And so, I mean, sometimes, you know, they might try a word to try to throw you off or so, you know, you have asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, asexual propagation, sexual propagation. So, you know, propagation and reproduction are the same thing. And asexual and vegetative propagation are the same thing and so vegetative pro propagation is the reproduction of plants without the use of sex cells or gametes or seeds so it's the, re the reproduction of plants without the use of seeds or sex cells or gametes is the reproduction of plants with the use of its vegetative parts such as the stem the roots etc right so that's vegetative vegetative propagation the reproduction of plants without the use of sexual organs or gametes that's the definition right there one easy mark for that one number part two state one vegetative propagation method used to produce banana plants and of course we know that the banana plant it uses what we call the sucker and so the sucker would be used right here to reproduce the banana plant so the sucker is used to reproduce banana so you have asexual production refers to the propagation of plants by vegetative parts and does not involve gametes you know that's found in the seed and the, the, the pollen grain and all the whole fertilization business right and so the other one is the one vegetative method for banana and that's the sucker right there all right, good. Moving right along to max of 10 for that question, this question. B, Farmer Wayne wants to plant a plot of cassava. The extension officer visits his farm and advises him the proper, the proper primary tillage is important in cassava production or in any production, really. So just two reasons why proper primary tillage is important in preparing soil for planting cassava. So they're just training cassava just to throw you off, but we want to know why primary tillage is important for production and so if we jump into our textbook we're looking here at land preparation and so they have tillage refers to the breaking up of the soil surface and incorporating organic matter into the soil it is usually divided into two stages primary tillage where the soil is broken up by plowing and secondary tillage where which involves refining the soil and so we have primary tillage and so the question asking us so there's two reasons why proper primary tillage is important to preparing, in preparing the soil for cassava. And so we have a lot of reasons here. Effects of primary tillage is to loosen up, loosen or break up the soil surface, which is good. So you know you need that for, 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 for production. Allow air and water to enter the soil freely and bury or mix organic matter into the soil. So that is why it is important right it's important for preparing the land because it's going to mix the organic matter into the soil and also it's going to loosen up or break up the tops the surface of the soil if you have crusting or anything like that it's going to get rid of that and then it allows air and water to enter the soil more freely so all those are reasons why primary tillage is so important and that's all they're asking in this question so there's two reasons why proper primary tillage is important and that's why it's important right there to easy max all right next one other than tillage state the one land preparation method that farmer wind must use in preparing its plot of land to plant the cassava crop so we says tillage what else does he have to do of course you have a whole lot here clearing that's one right clearing the land is normally the first operation so you have to clear the land then you have your primary secondary tillage and then you have drainage you have to start out your drainage to get this thing done start out your drainage then of course you have to make your beds and all those are ways of getting your land prepped before 
you even start to plant all those are land preparation land all those are involved in land preparation so you have it right here land preparation ensures that the soil is well prepared before a crop is planted it is involved in selecting it involves selecting an appropriate site for the crop selecting is one then you have to clear the land that's two fertilize if you have to set up your drainage if you have to level up the soil if you have to create the beds if you have to so all those are other things you have to engage in when preparing the land for production all of the land preparation not just stage alone clearing drainage leveling making the beds all those are land preparation and then the next question asking us you know mrs brown wants to expand her hot pepper farm the extension officer advised her that she should use mechanical land preparation methods instead of a manual uh, manual methods figure one shows two implements that are used for tillage so you have two of them here right you have the plow okay so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jump ahead so, so fast okay good so you have two of them a and b implement a implement b okay good normally mrs brown would use a fork to perform primary tillage manually which of the implements a or b should she use for primary tillage state one reason in support of your choice so which one would you use a or b for primary tillage and so we know we're going to select so we're going to select implement uh b that's the one use of primary tillage. that's a plow right there right as a plow this well this is a rotivator and the plow is a one that is used to initially break up and turn over the soil and so if you look at our textbook now let's say here secondary um tillage can be done you tra uh, the tractor may be hand tractor with a rotary plow or a four wheel tractor with a mold board or disc plow so you have a tractor here with the rotary plow right there or you have the the disc plow right there uh the uh, and so those are the primary the primary use use case for those things so the quite the answer is of course you have the disc plow right there or you have a next plow right there and these plows are used for primary tillage and you have it right here this plow rotating disc cut and leveled forest slices plows heavy clay soil uh, stony soil and soil containing stubble so these are mainly used for the initial breaking up the initial breaking up of soil the plow so that's primary tillage whereas the rotivator now secondary tillage after the land has been plowed with a mold disc or with a mold board or disc plow uh primary tillage of cultivated land vegetable plots of rice field well that's because they have a finer tilt but the rotivator is normally used for secondary and that's the rotivator that's normally for secondary tillage the plow is normally for primary tillage right so one reason to support your choice so yeah, i guess what they'll say is you have to name it now that's why they say one reason to support your choice you have to name it so this plow used to break up the soil primary tillage rotivator normally used to add extra till to the soil or mixing certain resources into your soil right so you implement so you're gonna say did it say name the implement no they didn't say name implement so you just put implement b and then the reason because implement b is a disc plow and the plow is used to break up the soil for initial tillage okay good so there's two advantage and one disadvantage of using machinery in land preparation so two advantage of course are using machinery so it gets the, work, the job done faster more efficient way in a faster more efficient way right that's one of the main reasons for using machinery in the first place get the job done quicker easier faster you get more done it's more efficient so you can't argue with that that's advantages right there of machinery but then we look at this advantage now and of the clear disadvantage is we have a few one it's more expensive right it's more expensive to use it for land preparation diesel costs money equipment costs money and two they cannot really work on every single topography some land might be sloping a lot of lands are in the mountain and so it might be difficult to get the equipment up there to get the job done so that's a disadvantage right there they can't really go on any and every surface to get the work done so two more expensive 
and it doesn't really have access to all land types advantages it gets the job done in a quicker manner faster quicker faster same thing more efficient you get more done as when you're using the machinery and so our textbook has really break it down right there so you have mechanical right there used extensively by large-scale farmers difficult or sometimes impossible to use on hilly terrain as i said before rely on power from machine so you have to get a tractor of course Sp here we are speedy effective economical greatly reduce the need for manual labor so all those are other advantages of using machinery over the manual way and so yes it might look like a lot but three easy max and with that that question is done question three is done and dusted that's it for that question so you know what to do now like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the, the notification bell so you know when learn skn drops more videos for the may june 2019 csec agricultural science single award paper two all right thanks for watching thanks for listening